Yeah. Oh, hello, Dr. Shrunk. Ah, uh, hey, you. You're the mayor of this town, right? Sorry to drop by uninvited. I came here today to ask a favor of you, Miss Mayor. You see, I was wondering if you'd let me open up a shop in the shopping district. That's my request in a nutshell. So what do you think? Uh, sounds great. What kind of shop? Permission denied. We're just gonna say sounds great. Sounds great! Whoa, you mean it? You didn't even ask me what kind of place I'm planning to open. Miss Mary, you've got the natu natural rhythm of a world-class comedian. Still, I should explain what kind of establishment I want to op open. Okay, so Shrunk wants to open Club LOL. One of my favorite places on Main Street. And it functions both as a comedy club and an actual dance club venue. And a concert hall, if you will. Alright, so we've got to get signatures from some residents. Oh, I forgot we even had to do this. This is so cute. Alright. Um, I was waiting for a response there. <laughs> Okay. Dun, dun, dun. All right, six signatures. So that should be a note right there. You need at least six people living in your town to unlock um, Club LOL and Dr. Shrunk. So anyway, hey guys, it's Madam Wario. Welcome back to more Let's Play Animal Crossing New Leaf. Welcome, Amiibo. We got our massive cake in the mail, so we will not worry about that right this- well actually you know what we could show it off look at our pink door how fantastic it looks okay <laughs> I love when this song plays all right I gotta remove it from its letter unwrap it and set it down here it is oh there's no room you see I've been storing bugs in here because the bug off is tomorrow so I want to make sure I have some to show that off properly so here's the massive cake how big it is and what it looks like in your house it's pretty great so we're gonna go ahead and put that away put this away I've been storing stuff in here too there we go all right let's get down to business we have something I really want to show off today um, that I haven't gotten to yet. And then we're gonna check out Main Street and see if anything's there as well. Okay, so... I'm gonna go back up here to where our perfect... I keep wanting to say perfect peach! Perfect cherry tree is. And what I'm going to do is remove... Well, you know what? I'm gonna leave those there for just a second. Um, before I show this off, I'm gonna um, show you a little trick for storage because your pocket can get very small depending on what you're doing and you don't have enough storage. So if you just leave letters up here, you're able to store anything in them. So your tools you can store there and that just makes for kind of a nice little quick uh, way of storing them without having them take up room in your actual inventory pocket. So anyway, um, we're gonna get our axe out. I know it sounds scary, but um, we're gonna be cutting down some trees today and I'm going to be really making this town look a lot different with trees. Oh, let's get a signature from Bianca as we're doing this. So what we want to do first is plant... Oh, please sign it! We want to plant some uh, perfect cherry trees, some more perfect cherry trees. So, oh, that's cute. She put her umbrella away. All right. Oh yeah, I'm wearing the kimono today too. It's pretty snazzy. Um, I don't. Yeah, there are literally no cherry trees. You know what? This trick works, by the way. Putting the. Oh no! I ruined it. <laughs> Okay, well, it did work, putting the pitfall in the corner. Um, I don't know that it's necessarily that it has to be in the corner. I think just if you replant a pitfall anywhere, like, that will have the same result. You'll be able to um, avoid having any new ones respawn. So, 
Okay, let's go back to this tree. Um, what I'm gonna do is shake this and just let these fall on the ground so I don't accidentally cut down that tree. But something I like to do, this is a guaranteed growth method. And like this right here, this is kind of a nice little pattern of trees. We're gonna cut these down. Now I know that sounds a little morbid, um, but we're gonna cut them down so that we can replant perfect cherry trees right here. Oh, hello. Now sometimes when you cut down a tree, you get a special kind of stump that has a unique design on it, and those are super cute to just leave in your town to make little seats. And you can also only attract certain bugs using a stump, so let's blow out these dandelions really quickly. And what the heck is this? A cabin bed. Oh, perfect for our bedroom. Okay, so now we need our shovel. And we're going to run back over here, pick these up. Do, do, do. I don't have many just regular trees in my town usually. Most of my regular looking trees that aren't pine trees, that's what I mean by that. Most of my regular looking trees are in fact fruit trees, so. I kind of do it on purpose so that way when a tree is naked I know it's a fruit tree. I mean, I, I might have one like main area where I have non-fruit trees planted, um, but I don't tend to have a whole lot of those. So anyway, if you do this, if you use this method, you'll be able to um, be guaranteed that your tree will grow. Oh my gosh, I got the suspension bridge! Yay! I paid this off last night, so I was... Um, pretty eager to see it and I forgot all about it, you know? All right, so anyway, let's go in Beardo's house, get his signature, because I can see that he's home. So that's my little method for planting fruit trees. Um, your ax will break pretty quickly. I think you get 32 uses out of it or something like that. And do, 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 please sign it. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> like a club? <laughs> yes. Anyway, if you um, have just a regular old axe, you're going to have to keep buying those if you really want to, you know, make your town spiffy. So, uh, one other thing I do want to talk about today are unlockable tools. Now, some of them, we haven't unlocked the venue that carries them yet. A lot of the silver tools are carried within a particular venue. Oh, oh sorry, I just dug at your gut there. All right, um, you deserve it. Ooh, man, giving me a shirt for nothing? Thanks, dude. All right, um, well, hey, I need your sig, so. Your siggy. I remember when people used to say that on, like, Neopets. All right, um, give me your autograph, dude. Thank you. Okay, so anyway. Yeah, we, we don't actually have the venue that holds a lot of the unlockable furniture yet. And to get, like, if you've played any of the previous games, you know, like, the golden shovel is a thing. The golden tools are a thing. Um, golden, the golden net, you have to catch all the bugs to get. The golden fishing rod is the same way. You have to catch all the fish. Not the deep ocean fish, but the other, um, just regular ocean fish and river fish to unlock those two. They're pretty self-explanatory, but some of the other stuff is strange the way it's unlocked. I wanted to show this off too. Look at this guy. He's awake. I woke him up last night and I was like not prepared. I'm like, oh, okay. This is Cyrus. Yo, madam, what can I do for you, squirt? So you can tell him that you have a project for him. He will customize most furniture pieces. Now there are certain things that he just won't do anything to and like he'll tell you Oh, he, we're apparent. Oh, oh man this cabin bed we can customize. Okay, I can show this off then So anyway, um We can change the frame and the bedding as well And he's really inexpensive like he doesn't charge much for his customizations as you can see And if you don't like a customization you can change it back to what it was to begin with um, for the frame, what do you suggest? You always have to ask him and he'll give you options. You can't just be like, oh, I want it to be purple. Like, that's not how it works. So we have patchy tree or birch. I'm gonna go with patchy. And the bedding, we can actually use a custom design. Use clothing fabric. 
um, or ask for one of Cyrus's designs. So for his designs, we can do green or yellow, but I don't want to do green or yellow. I want to... No! Um, hold on, let me think this over. I want to use the shirt that Okay, so I want to use the shirt that Igly just gave us to show this off. So, Patchy Tree. I think it's kind of weird you have to start all over. You can't just go back. That's one of the flaws of this system. Alright, I want to use this crossing shirt. Don't even know what this looks like for sure, but we'll find out! Alright, yes please. Okay. So, anyway, Cyrus is unfortunately one of my least liked characters in the game. One of my least liked newly added characters. So, um, as he just said, each customization project takes 30 minutes. So that makes it super reasonable when coming back to the shop and, like, your stuff's already done pretty quickly. But anyway, yeah, he's one of my least favorite. He's just, like, really hateful in his manner, I always felt. I never enjoyed talking to him, like, I feel like he's really rude, and I just don't like him, honestly. It's weird, because, like, the alpacas are so cute, but I just don't- I'm not a big fan of them. Never really liked him. Anyway, um, sign this, Rodeo! Yay! We should see where Groucho's gonna build his house, too. Um, I've got to put in for another public works project, and you guys will be excited about this one. And um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. I'm also going to do something by request of several people. Um, I've gotten both tweets and comments about doing this. And so I think this is kind of a cool feature to throw, <laughs> to throw out there and show off. And um, I've never actually done this, so I think it's pretty cool. Um, if you say to Isabel, advice for living here. Um, oh, shoot. Are you set on how to mail letters? She will um, give you various advice, but sometimes she'll ask you to go get her a seashell, and if you bring it back, she'll give you a foreign fruit. So that way you can expand your fruit um, tree collection, basically. Um, okay, new advice. Um, okay. So, da, 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 da. oh, this is it. She does it right away. I didn't realize that. Okay. So she's gonna tell us to do that right now. Okay, I didn't expect that. Why don't we go ahead and put in for another public works? I don't know that I'm gonna have a ceremony just because I want to get this show on the road, basically. Alright, I'm gonna pass. Sorry. <laughs> okay, public works project. So, I want to show this off. Now, I was gonna try to... Um, show why I have this as an option today, but I kind of cheated him out. It was weird. I didn't expect to have a shrunk at my door. I expected to have somebody else, so I guess we'll just do that tomorrow. But anyway, um, all right, we have two options for a police station now. This was requested by a villager, um, and we have the modern option or the classic police station. Now, the classic might fit our theme more, but I have that in my other town, so I'm gonna go modern this town. Plus, that was what was in the original Animal Crossing, so it's kind of a throwback to that. I love it. I want to I wanna try this one this time so that both of my talents have different police stations. Now, I think it's pretty cool that you have the two options. And depending on which option you choose, you will have a different character running it. For the modern police station, you will get copper. And for the um, retro police station, you will get booker. So booker's in my other town. I tend to be a bigger fan of Booker, but anyway, I'm gonna see if I can set it right up here in this little corner. I don't know that she'll let me. Because she'll be like, oh, it's too close to the train track. Okay, five spaces back. Yeah, this is probably not gonna work because this rock is in the way too. What about like right? Let's see what she says here. Okay, what is she telling me? Still too close to the- okay, I guess we just can't. Two left and two right, five spaces back. Those are basically referring to like... I think digging spaces. So like if you can dig like five spaces back in total, you should be fine. Um, 
let's see. I want to go where it's kind of bare. What about over by um, this lady? Like right here. What do you think? Oh, good. Okay. So this works. I know that little corner is kind of not very well, um, n not very usable. All right. So let's see. I didn't read how much this actually costs. <laughs> okay. All right. Bye, Isabel. And it costs, uh, 264, so it is a pretty penny. Alright, um, we're not gonna donate anything right now. Okay, so that's gonna take us a, a minute. Did I say this earlier? I paid off my house last night as well. I don't think I said that yet, but we need to talk to Nook so that we can get our first room expansion. I'm gonna run to the beach first, though, and get this seashell so that we can take care of that on our way up. So anyway, um, one thing I want to talk about um, in regards to... Oh man, he's wearing it! I sent him this funny shirt in the mail! Look at it. <laughs> oh my god, that's great. Oh yeah, I'm really happy in the rain. Please sign this. Okay, um, so anyway... Um... I was talking about like unlockable tools earlier and how I really am going to work on the trees now and start redesigning our town. Well, because of what I said earlier, the axe breaks pretty quickly. I will probably take a trip to my other town off screen because I don't want to spoil things this early on. Um, cause we have quite a bit to unlock yet and I don't want to just be like, here it is. This is the final state. I mean, if you really want to see that, you can watch my birthday um, town tour. But, um, you know, otherwise, I, I don't want to show it off yet. So I'm kind of, like, hesitant. And that's why I'm like, okay, I'm going to just, like, do this on my own. So I'm probably going to pick up a couple things from there and get the golden axe, which never breaks, um, from my other town. So, let's see, because we're not even going to be able to get that for a while. That involves Leaf and his, um, his shop and, like, buying so many, I believe, saplings. I think you have to buy, like, 50 saplings, and there's no way we will be able to do that anytime soon, because right now he's selling one per day, as you can see. So I can buy multiple axes, you know, and still work with that, but... Otherwise, we're not gonna, it's gonna be kind of annoying to get this done. So I'm gonna have to cheat off of my other town. So anyway, where do I need to go for the, here it is. Yeah, he wants to have this little basement area. I got them all, okay. Here's your signature sheet, dude. And then, oh, okay. I don't know that you, do you have to, Okay, cool. So, what's he doing now? Oh, okay. Guess he's gonna just take care of that for us then. Okay, we need to talk to Nook, and then we need to talk to Isabel, and then we can call it a day. So. Alright, yeah, we paid off our home loan. Okay. We're just getting a lot done today. Yes, 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 yes. I want to talk to you about expanding. I want to expand! Um... Ooh, if it had a second floor. Okay, so that's our first option, is to have the second floor. Let's do it. Okay, so that is also, you know, you can see how things are getting more expensive as we're going along. So, that's why it's gonna take a lot more off-screen, like, island trips. Oh, the shrunk, you're just gone. That's cool. Um, okay. Oh my gosh, I finally successfully street passed myself too, so I should be able to show off the Happy Home Showcase. Probably not tomorrow, because that's the bug off, but um, maybe Sunday we'll show that off. Okay, so we're going to go in and talk to Isabel, give her the shell, and then call it an episode. Okay. So, 
advice for living here. Have you been to the beach yet? Alright. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Seashell, here you go! Okay. Confirm. Alrighty. So I haven't really been over this yet either, but like the reason fruit is so important is because it's such a good way to make money if you're traveling to another town that is y your food is <laughs> your food your fruit is foreign to that town. That's why I'm glad that my town have has my personal town has different fruit. Yay! Three apples. Okay, so we can plant three apple trees somewhere. Nice. All right, so that's pretty cool. I didn't know that this was a thing. Thank you to those of you who pointed that out. I'm I'm loving it. Um Okay, so she's going to be like, "Oh my god, plant stuff." Okay, we get it, Isabel. All right, so one other thing before I close out um is you want to make sure to check your citizen satisfaction every once in a while. So if you have perfect satisfaction for 15 days in a row, you will unlock a special tool. So um, that's why it's important to check that every once in a while, because you may have it unlocked and not even know it. That was me in my other game. So, but yeah. Um, you will unlock the golden watering can, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Madam Wario, and I will see you tomorrow. Peace out, pimps. <laughs>